Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. It's a little chilly out right now. I still have my hood up. Um, but uh, we got our application down, and the rain we had on Tuesday was exactly what I was hoping it would be. It was spot on. Uh, it was just enough. Uh, it might have been Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day that was. But it was just enough. It was exactly what we needed. It was a nice light rain. It came down a little bit um, steady at times, but it was exactly what we needed to water and everything we put on. So that pre-emergent and the uh, first application, the flagship went down great. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to see what those results are. Um, again, first week out, you don't see a ton. It's usually in that week two to four plus is when you really start seeing that those things kick up. Uh, but we are going to get a quick mow in today. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, just because it's getting a little tall. I want to do that weekly, keep on top of it. And the other thing we're going to work on today, though, is now that we've got our application down, I'm going to look over here because I'm looking here at myself and I need to be looking at you guys. Anyway, the thing we're going to be doing today is right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put down our bifen. So bifen or bifenthrin is a insecticide. So if you look here, Herbicide, insecticide, blah, blah, blah. So they call it Bifen. That's just the kind of the name of the label. The actual chemical, the product that's in there, the active chemical, if you will, is called Bifenthrin. Um, and so this stuff, a lot of places have this. It's a restricted chemical, uh, which means you have to have an applicator's license to put it down. Um, you can find it. Um, it is around. If you look on Amazon and other places, there are people that do sell it. Um, and it is an amazing, an amazing product to put down to keep out things like the just ants, insects in the yard in general, uh, ticks, so mosquitoes, awesome job. I put this down anywhere from two to three times a season, depending on how bad the season is, what the weather is like. Um, so I'm gonna get my first application down now. And what I actually do is, and I'll walk you through it all, is I'm gonna apply it across the whole lawn. I go along the tree line, and I kind of go, just kind of call it a barrier, but I just kind of, I wand it up and down into the tree line there. And then I also will take care of hitting the foundation area. Uh, so I'll go around the doors and the windows and I'll kind of hit up the foundation. I used to use this stuff here for that, home defense, and I got plenty of it left. So I still might do that because it is a cheaper alternative. It does last a while. It works really well for foundations. So when you're spraying around garage doors and stuff like that, I do like that product, it does work. But when it comes to just doing everything, the lawn and all, the Bifin has been amazing. I like it. We're gonna walk through all of the um, components of what the mix rates are. Cause again, we're gonna use the four gallon pump sprayer. This is a liquid. So we will use our trusty paint cup here to do a liquid mix in. And again, I'll do anywhere from three to four tanks um, with a uh, walk-in spray, just depending on the coverage. Cause I do a lot more area than I would if I was just hitting the lawn with um, a pre-emergent. So we're gonna get to that. We're gonna walk through all this and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys learned something. I'm excited to get it down because then I know it means that I will be protected. The other thing we're gonna touch on real quick, which I did mention before is what I use on the playground because I do not use bifenthrin there um, because I don't, even when it dries, it's still on the equipment and I just don't want it near the kids like that. At least when it's on the lawn and it dries, I feel a little bit better about it. So anyway, we'll get into that. We'll talk more, stay tuned. Welcome back. A little bit later in the day it's about one o'clock it's not terribly late uh, but we just got the lawn mowed again my backyard is kind of half destroyed but whatever we got some things done i got a fire pit built carpets down lawn is mowed a couple other things around the house however now we're going to focus on this right here we're going to get some spray and done with some life so uh we talked a little bit about it before but let's get into it now all right Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up on the microphone too much, but um, I got a little bit left in this guy and this one's running low. So we're gonna finish off before we switch over. Uh, basically, bifen is short for bifenthrin. Uh, it's the active chemical for preventing insects. So you talk about ants, spiders, ticks, even mosquitoes. Kind of does it all. Um, a lot of times when you call up people like, you know, mosquito people or whatever, they'll use something similar to this and they'll say, oh, you know, I'm trying to, you know, sometimes they say they have the eco-friendly stuff. Um, other times they say, you know, just make sure you stay off the lawn for a few hours, whatever. Um, I've been using this stuff. Obviously it's a restricted chemical. Um, you can get it on places like Amazon and if you look around the internet a little bit, but you can't just walk into site one and buy a jug of this um, without having an applicator license. So. We're gonna get into now the uh, the application. I got my stuff already here. I got my product label. I got my mixing cup. 
I got my sprayer, which I already have the T-Jet on. That's again, that's the 11004 um, T-Jet, the red nozzle one to give me a nice little fan spray. Um, and I got my headphones because, you know, while I'm walking, it's nice to have the Bluetooth on so I can listen to my podcast. All right, let's get into some mixing rates. Now on this tank sprayer, you can see the indentations actually mark off where the lines are. This side is the leader side, but I do know that that's a gallon, two gallons, three gallons, and this right up at the top here on the bubble is the four gallon mark. I fill it up with water. You can see it in there halfway with water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the stuff, which actually kind of looks almost like, a, like, like milk. It's kind of a creamy looking substance. And then you're gonna take that, put it in the tank, flush out the cup, and then top it off again with more water at the end. So let's get in to figure out the mix rate. All right, our mix chart here. So bifen can be applied in two different concentrates, 0 0.06 or a 0.12. Uh, so what I actually do is I go with the 0.12, I go a little heavier because I have, I wanna kill out the ticks. I live right along the woods, so I spray for the mosquitoes, the ticks, all those other but nasty bugs. Uh, and the heavier rate works really, really well for me. So you can see here, I have a four gallon sprayer, right? But there is nothing here for four gallons. It's to make one, five, 10, 25 gallons. So I look at the five and I see these numbers here, but then I say, okay, two ounces per one gallon. Okay, well that's simple math, two ounces per gallon, which means I want four gallons. So that's eight ounces. So I'm gonna put eight ounces of product in this cup, mix it in the water. Give it a good shake. I said this is kind of a milky substance you can see that yep so we're gonna go right up to the eight ounce mark on the cup there we are eight ounces let's pour that in like i said it almost looks like half and half going in there we are I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this out, pour it back in and top that off, and then we'll get ready to go spraying. All right, and I probably could have picked a little bit of a better day to do this. It's a little windy out, so this might spray off a little bit. So I obviously, when I'm doing spraying with this type of application, typically anything I spray. Um, I will wear long sleeves, long pants, I got my boots on. Um, you know, you don't wanna go out there in sandals and shorts and start spraying around, but that's just me. I also have my SA face guard, face shield, whatever you call these things. Um, it's not a mask um, in that sense, but what it does do is it allows just to kind of keep some of that, any of that overspray from getting into my, uh, into my mouth. And I've got my sunglasses on too, just get, it's windy, just protecting as best I can without going crazy. I don't need a Tyvek suit or anything. Um, but these are really awesome. These are SA face shields, they're called. They're not masks. I use them more for just dust. Um, if I'm out working in the yard in the fall or if I'm raking in the fall and around mowing and there's there's just a lot of kick up these things are awesome they're easy to breathe through they're easy to talk through uh they look awesome you can get a bunch of different styles so not a sponsor obviously but i've used these for years not only as um as shields but also i wear them up on the top of my head as like a bandana when i'm working out so they're pretty good um but if you have a chance check them out they work really well um anyway we're gonna get into some spraying i'm not gonna go through how to use this again you've seen this it's a pump sprayer you put it on your back you buckle in you pump and spray my strategy with this obviously is as i'm spraying every now and then as i walk every couple paces i'll give one or two pumps walk a little bit one or two pumps that just keeps a constant pressure again would love to have a battery not going that way because I would still have to refill this several times to do this property. My next goal is to get one of those Northern Sprayer tow behinds with a little boom that I could do it all in one shot and not have to mess around with this. However, we're going to get spraying. Again, you've seen the fan shape on this. You see what it does. You don't have to sit there and drench your plants or drench the grass. You're not trying to soak everything down. You just want to apply. Once this gets down there and it's on the grass and it's on the ground, it does its job. Just, you know, give it the time. This will now last four to six weeks that's what you're gonna get out of an application of this. So it depends on um, how heavy the, the, the infestation is or the bugs are in your yard. So, you know, again, around that four week mark, you might start to notice some things. I typically go almost the full six and it works really well for me. Um, the other thing I do have, and I'll show you that now in my yard is up here in this tree. So this little guy here, this is called a Dynatrap. So what the Dynatrap actually is, um, is Really, it's got a little bit of like a UV light um, on it. Not UV, it's like a purple light, like a black light. Um, that's on all the time. This runs on an extension cord. 
and it just runs 24 hours. There's a little bit of a fan in here and that fan just pulls the little trap doors open. So when the bugs fly close enough, the fan just sucks them in and they get stuck in here. Uh, I want to pull that off actually. I want to show you what that looks like. The other thing it has up here is the switch. So you can turn it on and off if you don't want to unplug it. But let me turn this off. Let's take a look. This has been running now for, I don't know, maybe a week since I've turned it on for the first time. I leave it on all season long um, just because there's no need to turn it on and off for best results. You just leave it running. But again, this was clean and empty when I started. And again, just in the course of a week, take a look in there and you can see, that's what it's caught up. All the dead bugs that are just kind of hanging out in there. So, there it is. Pretty nasty. But you can see, there we go. Pretty gross. But again, it does a really good job of, of just, you know, being an additional tool that I use against uh, the fight against bugs out here. Um, does really well for what it is. I like it. This one is a half acre model, um, which I know I live on an acre, but for what I use it for, uh, I just wanted it near the deck area. So it's right here on this tree, kind of out in the open. Does its job, catches a lot of stuff. So uh, I like it. Again, they come in more bigger sizes. You get a full acre, you can get, I think they sell like tabletop ones, but um, this is the half acre. I got it on sale one day. And it's worked really well for us. It's been two years now that I've had this out here. That's really it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get spraying. There's not a whole lot of other things to cover here today. So, again, I hope you learned something. I hope you give this stuff a try. Again, if you've been dealing with uh, bugs and you've tried bug gone and granulars and all this other stuff, give this a look. Try and find it. It's on Amazon. You can check it out at other sites. Um, it is really awesome stuff. Again, just read the label, be careful with it. Don't spill it all over your body. You know, it's just something, again, it's a chemical, right? So you gotta be careful. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. This is probably a little bit of a shorter one. Take care.